Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to do some more meal prep and the recipe we're going to do today is a chicken katsu served with some rice, a simple slaw and a really tasty Japanese style dressing. So to start with, I've cooked one and a half cups of sushi rice and I've just got that cooling now on the stove. While that's cooling down, I'm gonna get this nice simple cabbage and apple slaw ready, as well as the dressing, and then I'll show you how to do the chicken. To make the coleslaw, finely shred a quarter of a small cabbage and add it to a salad bowl. Then add one finely sliced apple and four finely sliced spring onions. Give it a toss together and set that aside while you make the sesame dressing. To make the dressing, add half a cup of tahini to a small bowl. Then mix in three tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of white sugar, and two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Give it a good stir to combine and then taste it and adjust the seasoning to your liking. Add the salad dressing to the coleslaw and give it a really good toss through. So I've got my rice ready, my salad and my dressing ready and the final piece to this puzzle is the chicken katsu. I'm gonna prepare five portions today, one to eat now and four to put away. So I've got five chicken thighs here that I'm gonna flatten out first and then I'm gonna get on to crumbing them. Use a rolling pin or a meat mallet to tenderize the chicken and flatten it out until it's nice and thin. Then coat it first in some plain flour, then in some egg and finally in some panko crumbs. Heat some rice bran oil in a fry pan and shallow fry until golden and cooked through. Drain on some paper towel and season generously with salt. Portion out the rice and the salad into the canisters. Allow the chicken to cool down, slice it up and then add it to your containers. Finally, squeeze over some kewpie mayo and now you're ready to place the lids back on and vacuum seal the canisters. So there you go, another meal prep recipe in the bag for you. You've got one portion here to enjoy for lunch or dinner today, and then you're set for the next few days. These canisters are going to help keep the chicken really crispy and that salad really fresh. Make sure you use the vacuum pump to seal in that freshness and take out any extra air. Store it in the fridge and enjoy it over the next couple of days, or if you're feeling really generous, then share it with your loved ones. I hope you liked this video today and that you're gonna give this one a go for yourself at home. You're gonna love it. And I hope you let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you haven't already, then hit subscribe to see more of our Lavelli Life recipes to come. And if you enjoyed this video today, then give it a like for us and we'll catch you again really soon with another recipe.